hi guys welcome to my channel simply real life vlogs and if you're new to this channel you know what to do hit the subscribe button down below and if you're back welcome back so i thought it's actually 6 a.m at hayman island and it's hot <laughs> already and i thought to do a little tour so when you come in first they drive in these little buggies and then you come at the entrance right and then this is the view. It is so beautiful. Why I'm awake on my honeymoon is because it's 6 a.m. And as I told you, people start waking up around 8. So I wanted to catch it when no one's walking around. So the first place we're going to see guys is called the Amici, it's a restaurant. So Heyman Island is a lot of restaurants, different styles, um, depending on what you want. But this is Amici, it's like a family restaurant, so it's quite casual in its dining style. It's closed at the moment, but it's beautiful. So at night, we actually came here the other night and these fairy lights are all turned on. And there's a chef and you can watch him cook your food. So if you are like us and didn't book your activities, there's definitely this is the activity center. So when you continue straight, I'll go in for the other side, but there's also games. But this is it. So this is also where you wait, like exam activity. You come and wait here. So I think we have a few activities today, but later on, so we're gonna come and wait here. And they provide little umbrellas actually, alongside the whole island. Cause it's hot guys. Coming from Melbourne anyway, this is really hot. Anyway, the second restaurant to my left is the Pacific. Has this ocean view. If you wanna dine in, there's breakfast there, there's lunch. Thing with Hayman Island guys you need to book absolutely everything like really few things you don't book To the right side, they have the first thing you see is like an estate building. So I think they have like six luxury homes or something. And I think two of them are bought. One is rentable. And I think the other four are still like, they sort of look like that. 
When we went to one of the tours, you really could see them, they were literally on a cliff. Okay, and then if we turn to the right, there is the hair salon, the spa, and this is the gym actually. Really nice, really spacious, but love the gym. And then here, I'm not sure what this thing was, our art gallery. I'm sure you can buy a couple pieces from here. So yes. If you need to camp yourself for a bit, got the hair salon right here to my right. We got the spa. Super zen. Went in there the other time to do a treatment. So nice. But the reception is like right here. Morning. Another cafe, it's called Groove Boutique Cafe. Super casual in its dining style. But, and then a little shop, sorry guys. If you need to buy a few items. Okay, so now we're at the front of Haven Island. So what you guys see is this. So these rooms, guys, when you book them, um, are called the poolside slash ocean view. Why they called that? Because if you're in these rooms, you have direct access to the pool. Hence why they're called poolside or view, ocean view, whatever. And then there's a restaurant, another restaurant, along here. So just be mindful, anyone in this resort has access to every section of Hayman Island. sections are sectioned in little spaces um, no there's no difference in the depth I think of it um, it's just whatever you you know floats your boat sort of thing so if you want to be here you can be here if you want to be in this section you can be in this section whatever you can just enter in from anywhere okay this is the aqua we had lunch here the other day, super nice, food, very fresh. I advise get a smoothie, I think I had like two smoothies from here, but it's still early morning so no one's here.
So we are in a room called the Premium King Suite or something like that. So let me just insert a video of what that looks like right here. Yep, so that's about it. That's where we're at. Now let's keep walking. It's so beautiful. Look at this. So this island to my recollection is actually seven kilometers in terms of the circumference. Um, but in those seven kilometers, I think I think I'm right. It's so big. Okay, it's so big. It's so interactive. There's a lot of activities to do. There's a lot of spaces to see. So you definitely don't get bored. Whilst we're walking, a little interesting fact is that when you come here, right, coming through Hamilton Island first. So Hamilton Island is the only airport sort of thing. So this whole section is like Whit Sundays, right? And within Whit Sundays, you have Hamilton Island, you have Cook Island, you have Hayman Island, whatnot. So this place is called Hayman uh, Intercontinental. You know those hotels? I'm sure almost every country. IHG hotels. So this is one of them. Merry Christmas. So we've come now to the left side of the reception. These are the other accommodation. Let me show you the game room first. To my left, we're now entering these spaces. So there's this room called the Langford Rooms. So if you're in the Langford Rooms, you're in there. And then to my left, you're gonna go to the infinity pools, or bam bam. But to my right, there's a section where, in when you book here, there's complimentary motorized water sports. So here's the section. So you come down this little path. There's little games here, lawn games. Okay, so here they are, all lined up and ready. Some of the boards and stuff are not there. So I think last time we did, um, what did we do? Oh, and also like if you have, I think, cruises and all of that booked here, you come just down here. Um, the last time we did pedal boarding, we did the little thing where you drive sailing or something, up sailing. 
and we're gonna do the jet skis and something else later on. So, this is the restaurant I was telling you guys. Super nice, super adorable. Maybe it's just me and my husband that didn't like it, but the food wasn't that great. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it wasn't that great. The mocktails even were a bit mm, off. These, I believe, are the lagoon view rooms. Apparently this side is the lagoon. Um, and then right here is the Bam Bam. And here's a little part to the beach if you want to go in and take a little walk. You can do that. At night, this place is so romantic in terms of the ambience because there's lights, lights in the little corner strips, um, lights coming out, lights in the trees. So, super, I don't know, romantic. What I want to mention is that, you know, when you go to these holiday, especially resorts, just anywhere, right? They over-exaggerate <laughs> on the pictures. This is definitely not one of those places. What you see is what you get. Direct when you're in Australia or anywhere, you need to come to this place. You really need to. When you sort of curve in to the left with that, I think that's where we go to enter in the um, other rooms and the laundries and all of that. So they do your laundry, of course at a charge, but they do your laundry. Um, they come and do turnovers, I think, three times a day. Turnovers when they make your room. 24-7 assistance, there's a medical center here, um, a lot of um, amenities, obviously, like any place, room service is available. Um, so guys, that is pretty much the end of my little tour for Hayman Island. Um, there's definitely a lot more than what you don't see here I'll keep recording the activities I will try my camera was off the first few days so I decided why not start recording yeah. so yes definitely guys I hope you enjoy your day. God has definitely blessed us to be able to come at this place, um, find this place. I found this place in a review. Definitely amazing for a honeymoon. Or if you want to do a family or couples trip, there's not much kids here. There's more kids and uh, families at Hamilton than they are here, but there are definitely some kids here. But yeah, whatever your style is. If you want to bring your kids here, bring them here. If you don't, and you just want to do a couple's thing, definitely recommend it. Otherwise guys, I hope you enjoy your day wherever you are. Stay safe and 
Let's go plants.